This is Steve coming back at you from uh, Champion's Ride with Troop Bus. We're out here at the uh, infamous area of Starkville, Mississippi, otherwise known as Stark Vegas, as you see. We're here at the Dude, Duty Noble Field for baseball. Mississippi State University, who won the College World Series last year, is playing Florida. University of Florida Baseball, which I've been driving this week and next week. So I'm here on a road trip with University of Florida Baseball. Always fun to come out here to Starkville. It's a very unique place. Number four, center fielder, Jeff Fabian. Kind of out by itself, in a way. Starkville is known to be nothing around Starkville but Starkville. So maybe it kind of explains why everybody comes to the ballpark. There's really nothing to do other than sports out here for Mississippi State fans. But about 13,000 people here tonight for a college baseball game. And uh, the stadium is known to be probably the number one partying place to be at to watch a college game. It's one of the top things to do on your bucket list if you're a baseball fan to Come to Mississippi State and watch a game. Then we're going to head out to the left field lounge area, which is what's well known for all the grilling and people having their drinks and et cetera. So we're going to walk out here down the left field line. Here is the sun sets on a beautiful day here in Starkville, Mississippi. But we're making our way out here to the left field lounge. We're looking at the condos that were just built a couple years ago overlooking left field. This is a very unique concept. Actually, a pretty good idea, I think. People can rent these for the season, not the whole year, but the season, for about $45,000 a season. About maybe seven, eight months. Or they can rent it by the weekend for an SEC game weekend, which is about $3,500. And then 2,500 there about for a non-conference. But it's your, it's your apartment condo. And as you can see, it's right over here in left field. And kind of looking down into the, the left field lounge area. But to give you a little brief history on it, what I've read and was told about it, it started back in the 1960s out here at the old ballpark and started out by somebody driving up with a car in the outfield left-hand corner watching the game. And it kind of formed into a tailgate party after a couple of vehicles were left here apparently broken down. And the idea caught on is, hey, why not stay out here? Well, let's make it a tailgate party like football. So, you know, obviously the stadium has been renovated over the years, but this is the famed left field lounge area, along with the condos. And we'll show you to get a little closer to people, uh, cook and grill, drink, have a little lounge chairs, uh, comfortable benches, cushion chairs. It's kind of a unique way to watch a game. stadium here holds about they say about maybe 14,000 15,000 really pack them in according to the fire code uh, we had about 13 seven thousand tonight last night so we're gonna walk down here to the lounge area during the game you can smell the cooking going on the barbecuing the grilling and what people do is they're they uh, rent this for the season, so it's their spot. They bring in the barbecue grill for the beginning of the year. They leave it there the whole season, and then after the season's over, they take it out. 
so you can see the kind of nice seats people have. It's actually a social event and a baseball game takes place also. This is the way to best describe it out here particularly. As I walk through, the smell of the cooking and grilling going on. And Florida get the double. Moves the runners over. Here's a good example of setting up for the weekend. How you doing? Grilling going on. Smell is out real. Get you hungry. Last night I was walking around and I got boudin from one of the people, and that's a, a Louisiana dish. The fried uh, or a cooked sausage with rice and Cajun meat and uh, sauce and all that. But you see, right on the base of the uh, outfield wall. Might be in a football game, but at a baseball game. Sometimes, like last night, you can see from behind home plate, you see the smoke going up from the, the grills that are going. This is one of my place. I think it's pretty cool. Left field lounge lizards. Every little area has its own little flavor to it, its own little namesake. Pretty cool. Fun way to watch a ball game, that's for sure. A little more close up to the condos. $45,000 a unit. Not very big, they say. section has got some little small burgers going on and dip and everything. I'll try to find my boudin group here. Get some of that. <laughs> so now we're out here in the center field and you hear, if you hear the bells clanging in the background that's the Notable thing of Mississippi State fans at football games ringing those cowbells. So they do it here to baseball too, just not quite as loud as at a football game. Hail State. One of the 14 teams in the SEC conference. But again, probably the number one location to, to watch a game. Oh yeah, here's me. There's some serious food going on down here now. The grills are fired up. Looks like got skewers going on. Yep. I'm not sure they allow liquor to come in here, but they have beer. But, you know, like at a football game, they're going to have their flask and all that other stuff around, I'm sure. So we're going to make our way around here from the left field corner lounge here to the center field. People here are very, very hospitable. Last night I was wearing my Florida baseball cap. Everybody's talking to me. Never one bad word that you normally hear from other places when they find out you're with the enemy. But uh, people here are great. Uh, got a hand to them. Southern culture, Southern hospitality. Down here in the Deep South. Deep South and the SEC. 
There's some grills not in use right now. make our way back around here to center field right here behind the batter's eye this is what the batter's eye looks like when you watch on tv this is what the batter looks into so you can see the white baseball now we're heading back over more to the student section this is packed out over here even though school's been out i think they said exams just finished up I will tell you this though, it's, to me this ranks up even as good as a, a major league ball game place to come watch a game. Just for the sheer excitement and the fan support and the fan enthusiasm. Oh yeah. video here if I think I'm just there you showing go. everybody how you guys do it out here. We do it right. You, know, you guys don't play around here. I'll hand it to you. Impressive. You see the cowbell? Ready to go. That's as serious good eating as anywhere you're going to get. Right here in the ballpark. I drive the Florida team. I'm the bus driver for Florida. <laughs> well, oh yeah, you got you got the great. Your fans are just outstanding. I was just telling them. I'm doing a YouTube video and uh, tell everybody, you know, hey, awesome. about a piece of that sausage right there. That, that boudin? No, it's it's this this deer sausage right there. Oh okay. Oh, that deer? Yeah. I would never know. <laughs> oh wow. I would never know it. You see, folks, the, ho the hospitality here in Mississippi, people. Yep. Thank you much. Very. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, deer meat sauce. I would never know it. Yep. You guys are very hospitable. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you All right. Good luck. Does that mean people are nice? That's why it was all over yesterday and today. They feed you to go along. They even said they'll feed the players if they, they want to uh, partake sometimes. Probably the home team does. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's the student section over here. Deer sausage was pretty darn good. Had a little, little sweetness to it. Yeah, you can come along here. And you socialize enough. You can do grazing along the way as you make it from the left field to the right field. So that's right here in the right field corner, looking in at short home plate. We're here at the bottom of the third. One to one. Florida versus Mississippi State. We're gonna just make our way over to the right field corner. We're gonna show you where the lawn chairs are. It's a packed out area of lawn chairs. Oh yeah, you got the grill going. Sears there now. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How you doing? Right, the right field tiki lounge. <laughs> yep, that little area is working it. Say this is one of the one fun perks of the job of driving these sports teams. You get to go and experience these kind of places that you normally would never go to if you weren't driving the, these teams. 
So I have to say, it's more fun than really doing the major league teams. So we've made our way around the stadium here, left field to the right field. We'll take one little peek here at the uh, lounge chair area. Last time oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Beautiful sunset going down tonight, Starkville. Great night to watch a baseball game. And here's the lounge chair area. Looking at the basketball arena over here. All different ways to watch a game here in Mississippi State. So that's going to wrap up our little walk around Duty Noble Field here in Mississippi State, showing you the famed Left Field Lounge area. So we're going to head back to our seat, watch the rest of the game, and after the game, put the Gators back on the bus, head back to our hotel. Tomorrow, after the game, they'll, I'll take them over to the airport, put them on a plane, then I will head back with the equipment back to Gainesville, Florida. Then wait around till Tuesday night, load the bus up with the equipment and head over to Columbia, Missouri to play the Missouri Mizzou Tigers. So hopefully if you like this, hit the like button, make some comments. Be always glad to talk to you about what it's like be driving around the major league and college teams here around the country. Seeing the sights we do, the places we eat, things we do and go. So again, thank you for watching this video. And we'll see you down the road here probably as we go up to Missouri and play the Mizzou Tigers at University of Missouri. Everybody stay safe and we'll see you later. Ciao.